but you know, you had come from as you as you referenced the Watts Mid South Territory the year prior, and you'd grown up in this kind of old school way. You know, yeah. if, if I remember right, in Mid South, you were just like the dude with a loaded glove and just kind of like a, a wrestler's wrestler. Yeah. But now here you find yourself, and you're in this like shiny suit with this over the top, almost like a comic book type character. Yeah. Um. It. I mean, a great story. But how yeah. were you feeling situating yourself in this kind of cartoonish world? Well, you know, when 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 the WWF first took off and again, I was still working for, for Bill Watts. And of course I was watching it and it was kind of like my, I, I had an old school mentality. I mean, it's like, you know, he's, he's killing the wrestling business. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, you know, making a cartoon out of it. Uh, but in reality, Vince, I, you know what, stroke of genius, you know, I mean, you know, he took something that, you know, I mean, pro pro wrestling as, as we knew it back before the old school way, like you had mentioned, it, it, it started in the carnies. It was like a carnival act mm -hmm. and, and, and it gradually evolved. Uh, and you know, even though there, you, you, there was always a base core of people who were going to, you know, you know, believe it, you know, most people, you know, considered wrestling, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's sports entertainment. You know, it's not real. They're not really getting hurt. Uh, and, and that's how they looked at it. Uh, but we presented it the old school way as much in a much more realistic fashion, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And yeah. then all of a sudden this guy comes along and he's, you know, got these colorful costumes and, uh, making toys and all that other stuff, you know, but, uh, you know, what I initially thought was, a you know, a guy killing the business and wrestling was dead forever is he made it bigger than it ever was, you know, revolutionized. And, yeah, he really, he really did. And so, you know, I just had to, you know, I, I had to go. And, and even when I sat down and talked with Vince about the character, you know, he said, he said, Ted, he says, here's the one thing everybody hates, uh, is someone who by virtue of their wealth bullies people, mm -hmm. you know, is flaunts his wealth and, bullies them it's kind of like you know throws money at their feet says yeah pick that up pi you know and laughs in their face and stuff like that and i just kind of chuckled and i said yeah i can't see other guys like that myself you know that's really you know that arrogant deal and he said that's the essence of the of, of this character and uh and, you know and, and so i under i started to understand that and but i also understood that when I got in the ring and the suit came off that I was just going to be the same type of wrestler. I always was as, right. a heel, as a heel. And again, the best kind of heel is again, what we call the, the chicken shit heel. Yes. The guy who really is a bully and a coward and talks real big all the time. You know, you never get tired. You never get tired of seeing a guy like that get his butt kicked. And, and, and that fit perfectly into what the million dollar man exuded. So, yeah, it's, you know, if you want to exude that whole, like, you know, I can buy anything, I can do anything. I mean, a guy like that, especially if, if we are going to view this through like a kind of over the top cartoonish lens, he probably wear a really shiny suit and uh, throw money at people, stuff it in their mouths. Yeah. So no, man, it, it, it worked. 